Most importantly, we're keeping, when you're on the line, you're feeling everything through these, all right? All your, your position is going to set you up, that all your weight is dependent on holding yourself up with your arms. The moment you let go is the moment you, and that's why I say, when we go, we go. The moment you, the moment you lift your arms and get that weight off, you're going to fall. So the first thing you have to do is explode, right? Anyway, so everyone, everyone line up around me, line up around me, we'll do this together, all right? Some of y'all come on this side. So I want you to get your hands on the line, right? My shoulders right over my hands, all right? This should never change. Even when I go and set, even if I whatever, you should never be here, you should never be back here. If you're here, this means when you let go, you probably are not gonna be able to bring your knee up and save yourself, and you're gonna stumble, all right? If you're back here, this tells me you don't really have, you don't really have uh, the pressure that you want. And so, same with this too, this, this tells me that you don't have the pressure because you're leaning forward. If you had blocks, you wouldn't be able to push back on the block because your, your weight's moving forward. So we start in here, and we're gonna get, we're basically gonna uh, take our, what, what's your, what your lead leg is, you're gonna start inching that up until you get it right by this elbow. So whatever your lead leg is, that's too far. See? That's too far. Your toes up. Your toe should not be up where your hand is. So you want to keep this. Think of keeping this shin angle right here at 45. All right. So yeah, I can get my knee up, but I, and I can do this. But now, once I get a set, where's my where's my angle going to push me? My angle's going to push me straight up. All right. So following from this ankle joint to my knee should be about 45, and then you just adjust this angle, moving it backwards or forward, and that should bring your knee right up to your elbow. All right, the opposite leg. Okay, so get in this position first. Set this first leg. Everyone got this first leg? So you, yeah, you can even move that back just a, just a tiny bit. Get your weight over your shoulders, over your hands. Everyone's got that first leg set. Okay, you're good. You're good. Dennis, move this foot up. A little more. Right there, right there. Okay? Don't move that leg. Just come off your hands. Don't move, don't move your legs at all. Just, just come up. Your other knee, your other knee should be right about the middle of your foot. My foot should be on the ground like how yours is? No, so this leg, that's your front leg, right? So this knee should be where this toe is. Right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Move it up just a tiny bit more. All right, so from there, it's going to feel awkward. Cause you want to you want to feel bunched up. I know you. You want to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm launching exactly. But trust me. All right. And if and if you want to adjust, move them together. All right. But see, right now, look look how aggressive this guy's angle is. If he gets up and set, you're down here, right? So once you get up and set, if your if your your knees like if this shin is parallel with the ground, you're not gonna go nowhere. You're gonna stumble out. You gotta launch yourself. You gotta think 45, 45. So from so yeah, so from here should be easy to get in the set, and all my weight should be in my sh in my hands and my shoulders. So from here, all I got to do, I'm not rolling forward, I'm just raising my hips. <laughs> Straight out the back though, flat flatten out the back, big chest, right? From here, watch me, right? I get my position set up. So what's my my first check? My hands. My weight's over my hands. Bring this knee up. It's about my elbow. Match the other knee. And I'm good. It's that easy. All right? From here, I don't roll forward when I get set. I go straight up. And I can just move my one hand. And I'm still in the same spot. All my weight right now is right here. And from here, I can take off. Big chest, though. Big chest, though. All right, so let's do, let's do a couple easy, yeah. So what's my, my first check? My hands, my weight's over my hands. Bring this knee up, it's about my elbow, match the other knee, and I'm good. It's that easy, all right? Keep this, think of keeping this shin angle right here at 45. 
All right, so following from this ankle joint to my knee should be about 45. And then you just adjust this angle, moving it backwards or forward. And that should bring your knee right up to your elbow. Your other knee should be right about the middle of your foot. Your knee's like, if this shin is parallel with the ground, you're not gonna go nowhere. You're gonna stumble out. You gotta launch yourself, you gotta think 45, 45. To get in the set, and all my weight should be in my, in my hands, in my shoulders. So from here, all I gotta do, I'm not rolling forward, I'm just raising my hips. Both my shins are 45. I don't want this one, I don't want this one straight. I want them both at 45, I don't want this one here. Equal, okay? To you adjust yourself, right? It's not the same for everybody. So if you feel like, as long as you have this over this, once you bring your hips up, that's gonna force your weight to go into your hands. So you shouldn't feel like I don't have enough weight in my hands. That just tells me that when you're coming up, you're sitting back, all right? If I bring my hips, if I'm over my shoulder, over my hands, and I bring my hips straight up, that's gonna automatically put pressure on this, all right? So space yourself out. Big chest, start to inch this up. You wanna feel like you're kinda, you wanna feel like a little pinch right here in your hip flexor, right? Inch it back just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, you guys, got, it's hard when you got cleats on. <laughs> that back, that back leg, bring it back. Bring it backwards just a little bit. Tiny bit more. There you go, right there. So from here, all I'm doing my hips are going straight up. They're not going back. They're not going forward. My hips are just going to go straight up. And from here, I'm good. This should be, you should feel like you have all pressure in your hands. You're here, so you're still really low, right? Your angles are still really close to the ground. So you want to make sure that you get your hips just above, like, if you can picture from the side, like just above your head. Right, so right now, if you bring it to level, then I'm, look at my angles, right? I'm not gonna go anywhere. Get it to about here, okay. where I can feel everything really pushing into this hand, and my angles are 45-ish, right? So as soon as I let go, I should be, it's, a, it's ahead of this foot, right? So you gotta space this out, push this back a little bit. Because if you get, if you get your hips too locked up to where you are, once you go and set, you're not, like, look how locked up I am, right? You gotta give yourself room to, to move and to be able to push off. If I'm, too hun if I'm too hunched, I can't get any power out of it. If I'm too open, I'm not going to get any power. You got to find that sweet spot in the middle, what works for you, right? Go up slowly, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where, you, where you should be. A little more, a little more, right there. Oh. So when you project, don't think about, you don't got to worry about digging and staying super low, right? Come out of 45, that's still okay. That's, the, that's a good angle to work with. Now just don't fight it. With your, with your upper body trying to stay low and dig, right? Forget that. My body tells me I'm pushing out and I'm going this way, then I'm gonna go with it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put the brakes on like this, but I'm not gonna fight it and do this because all I'm doing is like, my body wants to go this way, but I'm trying to force my, my chest to go this way, like too low, right? Okay. So you're, one's going this way, one's going this way. Yeah. You, you, got, you gotta match them up, right? You gotta meet in the middle and both of them hit the same angle. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. And same thing with you. Like, don't try to, don't try to force this to stay down because you want to dig, right? If your body's saying, I'm gonna go a little bit higher, it's okay to go a little bit higher. Oh. So the same, the last one was like kind of the same. Your last setup was, yeah. Your set, you, you guys are starting to get the setup now. You just gotta start, stop trying to fight where your body's telling you to go and, and dig and stay low.